it's not even here and my recording is timing is perfect. Okay, um, apparently we left off down here in the mine heading up, I think, because it's, no, it's not starting to turn daylight. But, um, sorry if you can see my hair sticking up. Um, water is contaminated with some kind of medicine right now, so we can't take a shower or drink it, all kinds of other crap, but I don't really care. Because, I mean, they'll fix it, so I'm like, hey, who cares the crap, it's going to be fixed. So we need to see what all we need to take with us this time. Probably nothing, considering we're going scavenging. And I'll show you guys more in the depth detail to the game. I'll get a lot more. But um, also, I want to show you guys the a good way to defend everything. Like, set up barricades and all that. Because I watched this one guy, I think, it's called, I think his name's Reno Crunch. And... He actually had a pretty good system going. He had a he had his thing built out of concrete bricks, to where it takes forever for the zombies to get. And then he had two layers, like one, two. He had two layers of it out, so zombies can't really get him. And I'm like, dude, yeah, that's cool. I should do that. So, yeah, we're, we're sort of gonna steal his idea, but instead, not concrete bricks. We're gonna use cobblestone, which I can craft cobblestone so lots of it actually so let's craft us some cobblestone let's craft as much as we can 44 blocks to have a fire axe we're, we're supposed to have a tool tool area somewhere don't we keep our tools somewhere I don't even know I, I, <laughs> I to, uh, yes we do we have one right there we don't have an axe. Jesus Christ. Where's our axe? I have my cat's in here again. So if you guys see him, don't flip out. I mean, none of you probably will, but just don't. Just in case you do. I knew it's how you crafted an axe. But, um, anyways, yeah. So we're just gonna take the auger out. Now let's start putting stuff away for later on. Okay, that one's taken up. Move over here to this one. I might start crafting some chests. I don't know if I've already crafted them for you guys or not. But we're also going to put... Wait, we'll keep three on us. The whole entire time we're going to keep three on us. But, yeah. Apparently we also have some coal on us. Which will free, free up fully. Free up some space. So, yeah. We'll put that over there. Um... What else? Like, well, we'll just throw potatoes. Who gives a crap about them potatoes, man? Did you? Okay. I was gonna put the coal over here too. Put the put the coal. I don't remember what the other ingredient was. Other other ingredient you need to make your own shotgun shells. I'm trying to think. I can't can't really remember. My cat's right there, so I don't mind him. I'll throw you right there and put my sticks in here. Yeah, we don't really need four flashlights. I mean, I'll carry one on us the whole entire time. And I guess you can consider this. I don't even know. Okay, I've sort of lost my mind. Sort of. Okay. So, no more water. It's not needed. I'm getting rid of my water. Now we'll keep the four. We'll get rid of the two. There we go. We don't need no more water. Don't collect any water. And hey, it's almost daylight. And they're all over here. No, there's like none over there. Okay. I have a voice crack when I said that. Um. Hello? Did I say you could come in here? No, I did not, so please leave. Jesus. Okay, so it looks like the first... So it looks like the first... My camera ain't flipping. It ain't doing it right now. Okay, so that will have to stay like that. I probably have three cooking pots just in case something happens to these. But, um, I think it's about time we start heading up, so. 
Yeah. And told you they were right there. Shoot you on the I'm the crazed butt shooter, I said the crazed butt stabber from Mark. Haha. Uh -huh. Hey. Hey, I totally forgot we can make buildings fall. We'll have to do that in the last episode. After we get a rocket launcher, we will make buildings fall. That would be pretty funny. Watching like our whole entire building fall down onto the spikes and all that. Yeah, I might be able to do it in this episode actually. Jesus Christ, this is loud in my earphones. You guys can probably hear it. Jesus. Hey! Hey! Don't you be taking out my house. Can you please... Hey! Hey, get back here. Okay, that's my concrete. Okay. Now, if you guys can remember, I found that we can scavenge crap. Which is a good thing. Okay, we don't need to destroy that. We need to come up here and destroy it. There we go. Flippin' fantastic doodle. Okay, so now that it's daylight, we can start for... Uh, I can't even think of that word. Ow! Uh, barricading, I mean. Oh, Jesus. Stone. Okay, so now that we have got everything repaired, we can start for fortificating all this with cobblestone, which I might just skip ahead unless you guys want to act. I don't want to skip ahead. You guys might enjoy me talking about this crap. I don't know. And also, I do have some questions about my channel, if you guys enjoy it or not. So I just want to know if you guys enjoy my channel. That's like the one thing I like to know. Because if not, I'll give up on YouTube. But I just, I just like to know if you guys enjoy me doing YouTube. I know I only have 21 subscribers, but it's a big deal to me. So I just, I just want to know if you guys enjoy. If you do, just put it in the comments. So if you don't, then. I don't know. Yeah, also shovel's the best way to remove that stuff right there. Just just letting you know. I mean you probably found that out, but I thought just like okay. So we can use this concrete brick. So yeah, we gotta remember to collect this concrete brick, because it can also be useful in helping the next fortifications. Cause I have a feeling we'll have to put two layers around this house, so Boom. Where's the other concrete brick at? I don't know. But this one we're not going to really be scavenging. This one's more fortifications. Probably one of those boringest episodes. Mine in place. Mine in place. That's really all this episode's about. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that action of me killing all the zombies was a little fun. I mean, it, this game, to be truthful, it's really hard to die. Just, just being truthful. Unless you gotta run a, or do a night run or something, or you have the, like, the worst fortificated house, you know, it's like extremely hard to die. Or if they break in, like me and my friend did, we tried building a wall around our house, which we did succeed in, but it didn't, yeah, didn't turn out too right. Well. Um, but the, the reason it failed is because we built it out of wood. I mean, we had stone, but we didn't have enough stone, so we tried building it out of wood. <laughs> And Jesus, that didn't turn out well. Hey. My there it is. Yeah, it didn't turn out well. I mean they broke in two seconds after. So I'm like, nope. Can't do this. So anyways. 
I might have to end the video right here. So, for for Caden. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the video right here. So, um, just because I'm gonna do fortificating off camera, I guess. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video of me playing Seven Ace, but I just fortificate and everything. This has been Trey Fate Six Hundred. Remember, if you gotta go, go. Bye, guys.